Marcus Lincoln and Kennedy meet, where it's spelled with seven letters. Both presidents also were elected to Congress in 46 and later to the presidency in 60, exactly 100 years apart. Also, both married women that were in their 20s while themselves in the mid 30s, and both lost the son while living in the White House. Both were shot in the presence of their wives, both assassins, Booth and Osborne were born in 39, 100 years apart, and were known by the three names composed of 15 letters. Booth ran for Ford Theater and was caught in a warehouse. Oswald ran from the Dewey Plaza warehouse and was caught in a theater. Both presidents were runners up for the party's nomination for vice president in 56, 100 years apart. Both defeated the sitting incumbent vice president. The assassins were both Both were particularly concerned with civil rights and made their views quite strongly known. Lincoln also signed the Emancipation Proclamation in 1862, which became law exactly one year later. A century later, Kennedy presented his reports to Congress on civil rights during the famous March on Washington for jobs and freedom that very same year. Both presidents were shot in the head on a Friday and died at very nearby locations, whereas President Lincoln died at the Peterson House right across the street and Kennedy at Parkland Memorial Hospital. Not far down the road, Kennedy had a secretary named Evelyn Lincoln. Whose husband Harold Lincoln also was a she also warned him not to go anywhere near Dallas. Both Oswald and Booth were assassinated before either one could be on it, put on any trial. Now, you would think of that. But Last thing I gotta tell you also to do with Lincoln and a Ford. President Lincoln was shot at Ford's theater. Meanwhile, well, President Kennedy was shot in a Lincoln Continental, which was a vehicle manufactured by Ford. Just a little bit of And each one of these points, 16 each other by exactly 100 years, kind of 